I think that sometimes we do what we can. I think that we can't all take part in constant strike activity. We can't all take part in activities that lead to contestation and, and argument with the state. We can't do it every day. What we do is what we can do. We can form bike corps. You know, we can form great groups, like food not bombs. We can do things. We can we can open info shops. We can do this stuff, you know. And that can happen, I think, in many capitalist countries. No question. I think it can happen. Um, it's never been a huge movement and it's become a very exclusive movement as people have approached that, have taken on that approach. You have to be in that movement to understand it. You know, you, you have to understand often the music, the words, the semiotics, the way people look, the way people talk, what's acceptable and what it isn't acceptable. I can use these words, but I can't use those words. And you have to learn that, that, that school. Uh, in, in that sense, those comrades are doing good work, but they're also creating a certain culture that people who haven't got that culture don't know how to break into. And what's more, that culture itself is convinced of its correctness that, that people who, who aren't like them aren't allowed into it. They're not welcome. No, I don't think people are bastards. They're just not welcome. You know, I can give plenty of examples of people who want anarchists going to anarchist events and, you know, feeling that they're a, you know, a leper at a nunnery. They don't want to be there. They're not welcome. People don't understand them and vice versa. I, it doesn't detract from the, the huge effort those comrades have made. But the other point is that the one thing that's really not challenged there is the whole question, I think, of, 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 of economics and class. And, and again, I don't want to make it sound easy or glib. It would be very, very interesting to see how the government of any capitalist country reacted if this movement became a mass one. They would not react peacefully. They would not say, okay, you know, you've changed my mind. You know, I, I realise now that cooperative living, I realise that mutual aid, I realise that the, the, the bottom line of capitalism is irrelevant. And there is a better way to live, that we can look at our agricultural resources and use them in different ways. You know, I, I don't think that will happen.